Zenless Zone Zero is the kind of game that looks amazing, has decent combat, and on top of it all is totally free. This is the newest game from Hoyoverse that lets go of the open worlds and instead focuses more on the stylish visuals. The characters, the world, and the overall aesthetic are some of the best things here, going from the cool cinematics in the first few missions all the way up until you get to explore the different parts of the city. And I'm telling you, this whole thing speaks to my soul the way they focus on things like a video store, a coffee shop, an arcade in a sushi bar. It's like something made for cyberpunk fans, for weebs, and for hipsters to enjoy. And even the combat has a lot of these flashy aesthetics and it makes every battle feel that much more fun. The combat has a really satisfying feel without being super complex. The main mechanic focuses on you using your regular attacks to focus on filling up your bars to do special attacks and ultimate attacks. But the biggest and best thing here is swapping out your team members to do things like counter attacks and extended combos. It's fun learning how all the characters play and get to pull off some sick looking moves. Like most of the characters I've played as so far kind of feel similar, but when I played as the shark girl in her demo, she felt completely different. So if you want to get as much variety in combat, you're going to want to cross your fingers, go into that gotcha, and get as many characters as you possibly can. Because trust me, things can get a little stale if you're not mixing things up with your teams. Out of the whole package, the only thing that worried me is that the places that you fight are pretty much the same. Like I swear, for a majority of the game so far, this one place is exactly where I've been fighting. And since there's not really much to explore, you're going to be seeing this place a whole lot as well as seeing these TV screens a whole lot. But I do like the way they use these screens and have it act as somewhat of a puzzle. And of course, there's the usual mobile game things like a battle pass, microtransactions, and a gotcha to pull for new characters. I was able to unlock about half the roster so far in just the first few hours, and that's without spending a dime. So I'd say that none of that stuff really gets in the way of anything else here, but it'll be fun to see how future characters play when they release. So if you wanted a game that was free and filled with stylish action, definitely try out Zenless Zone Zero.